Hey guys, what is up? I am Double Driven. Three videos in one day. That might be a new record for me. Uh, this one's super short, just going over a couple of the reveals uh, from the uh, Price of Power. Um, one got revealed by uh, Hand Reader, and the other one by fellow TOG members, Mr. Jonas Saber, Saber97. Um, two cards, uh, one of them had a little bit of a confusion with them, but we get, we're going to clear that up. Uh, uh, Ryan. Uh, and uh, I believe uh, Malegion both confirmed on the, the one with a little bit of confusion. Um, so for sure, these are all the Syndicate cards. Because um, there's four. There's a Legendary, an Epic, a Rare, and a Common for each set. So each one's getting things. So Syndicate is set in stone. Um, you're going to have your bon Bounty cards. Um, the first one up, though, is a... It shows it as a special, but it is actually a crime. Uh, it is confirmed that it is a crime. Uh, Hysteria, I love this art. It's got some uh, color out of space looking art going on here. I like it. Um, it's a five provision crime. Place bounty on an enemy unit and damage it by three. If it already has a bounty, double the damage. So you can hit for six. Um, if it has bounty, uh, so it looks like you're gonna you're gonna be running Caleb and probably slander, maybe a one of, um, maybe even the witch hunters. I don't. I I know for sure you're gonna be running executioners and Kurt if you're playing this deck. Um, not sure if you're gonna run the other. Um, witch hunter type cards but um doing six damage uh, you the the problem with it is is if it doesn't have bounty it's only a three for five which really sucks but if you do six damage and kill a six uh, power unit you get six coins i mean technically that plays for 12 unless i'm really bad at math but um it could play for even more because the coins could put you to nine. It could get the boat out. Um, I think this is a one of maybe in the deck if when you build it because um, you could pull it with um, Furco, I guess, uh, to, to for sure you know use it when you want to. But um, it's got a high ceiling. It's got a really high ceiling. But uh, if you don't pop this off, it's gonna feel uh, it's gonna feel kind of bad. But um, cool art. I like the card. Um, I think it's going to be a one-off at least, at the very least. And then the next one, I love the art on this one. It is uh, Fabian Hale. Uh, this one, I don't know why, I get, I get like Fight Club vibes off of it. Um, really cool card. Um, it's four strength, eight provisions. He is a human witch hunter. And he has Intimidate, so every time you play a crime, he's going to go up one. So he's an engine. Uh, deploy, place a bounty on an enemy unit. So worst case scenario is a four with a bounty. But if it already has bounty, gain the coins equal to its base power. So if you could put this on something, even like a five, I mean, you're, you're getting five coins out of it. And then if you have the executioner on the board you can use those coins to kill it and then put some bleeds down to where you can space out that damage you know to technically bleed um i i i really like this deck i'm not sure if you're gonna you know jump into the witch hunter category there's only a couple i mean it's really only anna or tamara so if you put all these in the deck, you got more lease too with the destroy or damage four. Um, I don't know if there's enough witch hunters in the deck to really warrant it. Um, she's a seven. I mean, technically you only have to bump up a couple, but is it going to be? Is that too slow? You know what I mean? That's like playing a an all god or something. I mean, it's bumping up these units, but I think you're giving up the round or passing and going into a long round. And do you want a long round with all this? 
I guess technically you do, but doesn't a lot of this stuff get killed? I mean, Graydon works out okay, because he's a one-hitter quitter. Morlise is good, because he just kills something or does four damage, but like the executioners, I don't think there's any way they survive unless you're playing defender. Um, but yeah, I think that's what the combo like revolves around. Like you put bounty on something, but if you already have bounty now and you got the executioner, you're going to want to kill it if possible. Cause if not, they're just going to kill the executioner and you don't get to use that damage, but gaining coins, I don't know. I like how the card plays, but it just seems like this deck is super slow, but I think you got it's one of those things where you're going to have to sit behind a defender or something cuz I mean, there's there's no way Caleb went lives after one turn when you see a bounty deck like he's gone. Like he gets he gets his one bounty and that's it. <laughs> if you let this thing live, against this deck I think you're in big trouble um, I mean I think you play the brothers with this some people mention too like the drill with maybe like cleaver because you can just go haywire with the drill freak show maybe I think for sure though you play the brothers with this um, and then maybe the thinning but even still like how do you keep up with the points of Cove, unless Cove gets nerfed, but they're not going to do any nerfs on the patch release. They're going to, or the expansion release. They're just going to, this is what you got, and then next month we do balance. So it goes expansion, balance, expansion, balance, expansion, balance, and that's how they're going to do the stuff from now on. So I don't know. I, 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 I hope this deck works out because. I'm really happy that Syndicate's getting a lot of play, but I think it's going to be kind of slow. Um, I think you're mostly just going to play the the Witch Hunter as a one of, and maybe like Graydon or something, because it's just going to be a nice little one-two combo. But for sure, I think the Witch Hunter fits in any deck because it's just too good. You get coins, you get a bounty, possible kill pretty huge um but yeah a couple more reveals uh probably won't be able to get to the ones tomorrow but um i'll try to do like a um maybe like a four four of them in one video um i try to get on them as quick as i can but i do work so um tomorrow I probably won't be able to get on the reveals um but you can follow me on twitter um i already got the mega thread started um i give credit to all the revealers like hand reader and saber um, but uh, it's all in one little spot um, so if you want to follow that i appreciate it but um, thank you guys so much for everything i'll see you next time